Welcome to Stuff That Works. This is a follow-up on my earlier phone stand video. I was a little surprised to have been asked a couple of questions about it. So, yes, I'm still using it. All my other videos so far have used it, and it works fine. It hasn't been perfect, but I haven't been frustrated enough with its shortcomings to replace it. The second question I've heard is, what makes the phone stay in it? The problem with answering this is that I can't get a good recording of putting it in while it's recording. You just see my fingers and bits of wood and blurred background and stuff. I borrowed my daughter's phone to take this one picture of the stand with the phone in place for the thumbnail. So here's how it works. The notch in the arm is slightly tapered and just bigger than the phone is wide at the top and just smaller at the bottom. This piece of wood is very close to being the same size as my phone. My phone also has a rubberized protective sleeve, which gives it a good grip in that notch. But the notch is so specific to my phone that it doesn't work on any other phone, and it would be nice to be able to mount it in the center so the buttons would clear better. But given the profile of the phone, that just wouldn't work. Well, what the heck. I'll put another 15 minutes into it just for the fun of it. This is the new arm. Note the old one is holding my phone while I'm doing all this. This bit's going to be the outer jaw. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Lots of sawing, first cutting off the jaw. I actually cut two of those pieces the same size. and then cutting off the head of a bolt to make a threaded stud. Wow, I never noticed my vise moves around that much. I know why, I'll have to fix that soon. Maybe that's another video, we'll see. Let's speed that up, it's kind of boring. The saw left a burr around the edge. And this is the second jaw I cut off, the inner jaw. Mark the center. Make a punch mark with a big nail. Drill a pilot hole. and then enlarge it. It's still a tiny bit undersized, so rasp out a little extra. and then glue the stud in. I put the nut on to protect the threads, but since I used a wooden mallet, it probably didn't matter.
Here I temporarily assemble the inner and outer jaws to mark the exact spot. And then glue it. and clamp it. And after the glue dried, here's what the new arm looks like and how it works. Here's what the whole stand looks like assembled with the wooden block in the clamp. Oh, and I mentioned last time that it needed wing nuts. Well, I had some glue mixed up for another project, so I did this for fun. Believe it or not, that actually works. But it's kind of awkward. I bought a box of regular wing nuts instead. So there it is. Upgraded. Questions answered. I still think I'll replace it with a decent tripod one of these days, but as it is, it does work, and now it works even better.